I always wanted a dog growing up. So one year for Christmas, I got a dog notepad and that did not go over so well with me. <laughs> I'm Dr. Sherry Hayes. I practice in Tulsa, Oklahoma, chiropractic and acupuncturist, and I'm a Cleveland graduate. My father was a chiropractor and I grew up in a chiropractic family. When I had a headache, I said, I need an adjustment. Whenever I felt sick, I said, Dad, I need an adjustment. You'd think I was destined to be a chiropractor because I did grow up in a chiropractic family. Although chiropractic was a huge part of my life, I wanted to be my own person. And I thought, I'm not gonna do what my parents did. After college, I went to Dallas. I took a job with a property company, and very quickly I worked my way up in that company and I saw a ceiling within that company. I wanted to be in a profession where there was no ceiling, where the possibilities were limitless. Chiropractic found me later as a second career. So I did have a detour, and it is my second career, and I'm so glad that I found it. So when I finished up here at Cleveland, I asked my father, uh, where should I open my practice? And he answered, go where you want to live. So I said, okay, I'm going to go to Manhattan, New York, and I'm going to go right in the middle of the city. It was a challenge, but it was exciting. It, it was where I wanted to live, and I've never regretted it for a moment. So when I was practicing in New York, I was there for a couple of years, and I learned that my dad would be stepping out of the clinic for health issues. Um, he had a successful practice and would need someone to be stepping in while he was out. I learned that it would probably be smarter to just sell the practice in New York and start up in Tulsa. Plus, I just fell in love with the community again. It had changed so much in a short time. My focus with chiropractic and my mission is to help as many people as I can. So we see all different types of cases, um, everything from a newborn infant on their first day at the hospital to a terminal end-of-life cancer patient. I'm inspired by my children daily. Just to see them learning and they never want to stop learning is a huge inspiration to keep going and to provide the kind of life that I want them to have. My husband is my greatest inspiration right now because he had a successful career and he chose to miss out on the time with our twins and the family time at home. But he wanted to have that same passion that I have for my profession and to come home really happy and able to leave everything at the door. So he is driving home every weekend to be with his family, but during the week he's here at Cleveland um, studying to be a chiropractor. So he's a huge inspiration to me. Chiropractic as a calling is a common thing that you hear with students and practitioners. For me, it came later, but when you find that career and you know that's what you are supposed to be doing for the rest of your life, there's nothing that compares to those feelings. 